Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, it's me again, freaking, uh, and for another dip review already, uh, day two of my channel. And, um, uh, yeah, so today I'm gonna be trying out something totally different. Like, I've never done this before. I've only done the brand itself one time, one time. Um, and that was Green Apple. Uh, may have given it away there, but whatever. Um, but before I get into that, I just kind of wanted to, uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, to the dip, okay, um, that dip is going to be, boosh, kayak straight, never had it before, uh, well, never had it straight before, I had kayak, just the green apple, like, once, um, and let's talk about the design, very plain, I mean, uh, I've seen kayak cans before. They all look plain and whatever. Um, but, the, I mean, obviously the one difference is the one label is white instead of black. And on the back, there's nothing there. Because I know Copenhagen has the sell by whatever. Um, Grizzly has the code that tells you, like, the last two, when it was, uh, what month it was made and stuff like that. And one thing that I thought was weird is that when I first got it, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like it, it just sounds like it's all just bundled up together. And uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I'm not too sure. But it is 100% uh, domestically grown tobacco. There, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so without further ado, and the, also another thing. It's uncracked. So I just got back from the store about 30 minutes ago with it and uh, kind of excited, kind of nervous because I only did really Copenhagen, Stokers, and uh, Grizzly every now and then. So kind of nervous because I spent like a dollar, whatever, on this. Not too expensive, but uh, then again, I'm a fucking uh, pay, I'm, whatever. I'm not, I'm cheap. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's crack the sucker open if I can find a fucking crack. Jesus. It's weird. There we go. Had his mother's thumb. Boom. And of course. Watching a bunch of uh, videos on YouTube, they say this happens. Every time they crack the can, this happens. And, yep. So, already shitty quality. Whatever. Um, let's open her up. Oh, my God. No freaking way. You see that? Like, I know it might look a little... A lot light brown but no this is like for real like that's exactly what it looks like holy christ what the freaking hell <laughs> wow this is definitely out of date holy crap Jesus. I don't even want to do this shit anymore. Like, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. Wow. No freaking wonder. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. This is the first time this ever happened, too. Like, I've never had dip that was like this expired or whatever. So... Uh, won't be doing this review. Uh, okay, well then. I think it's the last time I'm buying kayak. Let me, let me just say that, because this is pretty bad. Um, yeah, first time this has ever happened to me. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go throw this away. It's a piece of shit. And we're going to review something else. So just hang tight. All right, so I'm back. Um, so that was a little embarrassing. Uh, anyway, so instead of doing kayak straight, um, I'm going to be doing 
Red Steel Street. Now this this can is uh is uncracked. Um, uh, I mean yeah, whatever cracked whatever. <laughs> uh, I bought it the other day. Um, I've tried Red Seal Straight before, but it's, but it's it was like a, a long time since I tried it. So I figured you know what, why not? Uh, Red Red Seal was actually my first dip. Uh, I want to say it was Red Seal Natural. That was the very first one I tried in 2011. That was like a couple months before I joined Marine Corps. Um, and ever since then, just you know, after that it was Skull Peach, and then it's God off dreadful freaking skull berry that I tried one time and it tastes like cough medicine so and then going on and on and on and now now I'm dipping every day so uh we're gonna do this I just got it out the freezer um kept it in there to keep it fresh obviously so instead of kayak straight we're gonna rescue straight so um let's pack it up it probably don't really need to be packed because it's fucking uh yeah let's pack a little bit but um Anyways, uh, if you guys would like to join me in my packing se session, then, you know, by all means. So, here we go. I don't know why, but I, I have a hard time uh, pinching Red Seal straight. I mean, or Red Seal period. I, I, I'm not too sure why that is, but here we go. There's, boom, there it is. I'm uh, doing the left side again until Thursday or something. So. And we're gonna be putting in the one and only red mud jug. So red can, red can, red mud jug, blue shirt, gray hat. Perfect, right? <laughs> um. So we'll let that kind of, let that kind of sit in for a little bit, um, and uh, then we'll talk about the flavor. But yeah, I um. I always have, 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 have trouble packing this. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just um, the way that I'm grabbing it or if it's just the actual dip itself is too not long cutty, whatever. Um, but I'll, 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 I've always had trouble with red too. I don't know why. Um, anyways, so uh, different look today. I got my hat, uh, LSU. Um, I'm from South Mississippi, so I'm a, a Tigers fan and a New Orleans Saints fan. So I got my Saint, oh, got my Saints cup here and my LSU hat. So you know, whatever. Um, now the presentation. Um, I want to say since last time, well, this is the first time I had it. Redfield changed its logo. Um. But I don't remember for sure. But I like this one a lot because I mean Red Seal, and obviously it has the Red Seal on there, so I I think it's pretty neat. Uh, it also says uh, twenty five percent more tobacco, and on the back it has the sell by date, which was pretty pretty damn good. I mean it's August twenty or nineteenth or some shit like that. I don't quite know. Anyways, and uh, another thing. Uh, I'm sure you guys noticed when if you guys done Red Seal, is that the can, the can actually kind of, kind of like, instead of going straight across, it kind of goes down a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm the only one to notice that or whatever, but that's one thing that I definitely can tell about um, Red Seal and uh, plastic lid, bottom, you know, all that fancy, fancy schmancy stuff. Uh, and also, uh, I saw this too. You can win a free metal lid. They have three kinds. They have uh, like outdoors, country, and something else. I don't remember. Um, I actually ordered mine last night. I ordered the... I'll say the country. Oh, no. I think I ordered the outdoors one. Uh, so it took like eight to nine weeks. I was like, damn. It's crazy. But uh, this is 100% American tobacco. Um, and it's made by U.S. Smokeless Tobacco, which also makes this, this beauty right here. 
Let me just make sure. Yep, yep, there you go. And Stokers makes its own shit, don't even say. But, yeah, so flavor. Um, The flavor, I really like it. Uh, uh, to me, uh, a lot of straight discs have like a sweet, a very sweet flavor to them. Uh, it's probably just me, but I noticed it's just like kind of sweet flavor. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Copenhagen straight. I mean, same company, so, you know, whatever. Um, but overall, I mean, uh, I really like it. Would I do it again? Yes, absolutely. Um, dip spit or whatever. Uh, when we first put it in, obviously, it'll be a little darker, but uh, it's not as dark continuously to me as a as Stoker's or as Copenhagen Long Cut. So, but I mean, uh, uh, overall, you know, I like it. Uh, if I had to rate it, um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a straight dipper. The straight straight dips are like my favorite, and then wintergreen, and then other flavors like Southern Blend. I got right here. Um, sorry, and uh, then you know wintergreen, all that kind of stuff. Well, I think I said that already. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> and then you know natural. Uh, like like I did the review yesterday, Copenhagen Natural. Uh, I, I really like that too. But um, yeah, uh, I really like it. It's pretty good. Um, if you guys haven't tried it, I would definitely try it. Um, but don't try kayak. Kayak straight is not it. It's not, <laughs> no, like I'm never buying kayak ever again after that weird experience that I just <laughs> that I just had. So um, again. You know, uh, if, uh, if the if the video quality is horrible, again, I apologize. I don't have a laptop. Um, I have a tablet, but my wife uses that to watch Netflix or whatever. So, never really have time for myself to do it. Um, but uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, hopefully I I can get a laptop soon. Um, or get my wife's old one to kind of work again. Uh, I'm not a computer guy, so I don't really know what all I need. That's why I've been using my phone to do all this stuff. So, well, I'm only done, what, well, three videos including this one, but. Anyways, yeah. Um, so, Wednesday, I'm kind of going on a rant here. Wednesday, I'm getting my freaking, uh, getting a checkup on my wisdom tooth, teeth. And then next month, on the 16th, I'm having surgery on this side of my gums. Cause uh, not for not cause of dip, because uh, when I have, when I had my wisdom teeth removed in boot camp, um, it didn't heal properly. So the back side of my teeth, this is the back side of, of this tooth, right, of the last one, and the gum instead of healing like normal or whatever, it healed like this. So in the back of it, you know, back here, it's all dirty and I can't clean it. So they're gonna have surgery, try to kind of lift it up a little bit, you know. Jesus, my was there actually, whatever. Oh, there we go. Camera again, I mean, phone, whatever. But, um, yeah, so, um, definitely we'll be dipping, it, dipping this again. Uh, I've been on a straight kick here recently. Um, I don't know, straight, straight, uh, straight dips is just my favorite. I just love the flavor. Um, and then natural and, you know, wintergreen. Uh, I'm looking to make another video here soon. Um, it, it may be tomorrow, uh, maybe some, sometime this weekend coming up or whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible. I'm already 14 minutes into it. One, one thing I told myself is not to make videos long, but, because a lot of people do long videos. And most of them aren't about the review itself. So, yeah, it looks like I'm kind of breaking that promise made to myself anyways um so that's pretty much all, all i have guys um just you know keep dipping and shit like fucking everybody else says <laughs>